One of Somerset's more unique environments, the Coral Forest. I used to love coming here when I was growing up. We need to find out why the Aldark asked Kin Lady Avenice to meet him out here. Based on what we saw in the monastery's undercroft, I'm hesitant to use magic to locate them. I suppose we'll have to find them through mundane means. Too bad. Nebara, let me show you the power bestowed upon me by the prince. Gagra, destroy these fools! Rasmdar apprehended the Kin Lady. They're at the west edge of the Coral Forest. What happened to Aldark Tilkalar? Did he escape? I think we can conclude that Tilkalar wasn't actually an Aldark. At least, not with his connection to the Prince of Bargain's Clavicus Vile. Strange magic and creatures worry me, however. Oh, you'd be surprised what a particular object can reveal if you know how to unlock its secrets. I need to return and tell Rightmaster Ikesis all that transpired here. If you're the right master leads the Sigic Order from Kapora Tower on the island of Arteum. This spell attunes you to a portal near Shimmerine in the ruins of the Keep of Eleven Forces. It always leads to Arteum, no matter the island's current location. One more adjustment and there, you are now attuned. Find me on Arteum after you finish with the Eye of the Queen. Ah, Five Claw. The King Lady and Raz had the most illuminating conversation. Queen Irene will be disappointed that the King Lady of Shimmerine allowed a false Aldar to murder so many newcomers. Such a scandal makes other travelers uneasy about coming here, yes? The Prince of Bargains. That could only be Clavicus Vile. What oblivion-inspired nest of vipers has Raz stumbled into? The Sijic Order's interest in all of this concerns Raz Udar. This one has never had much love of magic or those that practice the art. On the other hand, now Raz has his own person on the inside. And then you must go to Arteum and discover what the Sijics have learned. When you return, you can tell Raz all about it, so he can pass it along to the Queen. Have you come to gloat? To kick me while I wallow in my own misery? Well, go ahead. I deserve it. I met him at Kinlord Millenthal's party in Eleanor. We had similar ideas about the Queen's decree, and I recommended that he lead the monastery. Somerset isn't a stewpot. And the various races aren't ingredients to be sprinkled in like so much spice. What a hateful accusation. Tilkala told me he was going to send them back where they came from. I had no idea he planned to kill them. I give you my word. I just wanted the newcomers to go away. And to find out he worshipped Daedra, 
How crude. I certainly hope not. We'll have to get the divine prosecution in there to gather up the monks till Kala brought with him to Shimmerine. We can't have Daedric cultists desecrating a holy site. I suppose I need to beg for mercy from the proxy queen. I do say, you that.
And there was no sign of Lathan. I don't know whether to be grateful or concerned. We'll find him, Val. Now go check on the Pearl while I speak to our new guest. What a rare honor Valserin bestowed upon you. Only a select few not of our order have ever walked upon this sacred island. Val tells me your aid was indispensable in uncovering the false Aldark's plot on Somerset. Unfortunate, certainly. The magic you describe sounds familiar, though I can't quite recall where I've heard of it before. I fear the Pearls may be a harbinger of the threat Sothaseel warned us about. Sothaseel, one of the living gods of the Dark Elf Tribunal. He's an honorary member of our order. After an attack on his clockwork city, he warned us about a Daedric threat to Somerset and Artaeum. I sent Valserin to investigate. Indeed. But not until we finish studying the pearl Valserin brought us. There are mysteries to unravel, and Val believes you will be instrumental to our success. We can get started immediately. Unless you want to explore our island first. The next step involves a thorough examination of the strange pearl you and Valserin recovered from beneath the Shimmerine Monastery. We are the Sigic Order, friend of Valserin. There is very little we cannot accomplish through the application of the old ways. Every object remembers its history. While I head inside to begin the augury ritual, I'd like you to go to Sotha Seal's study in the tower, find my acolyte, Oriandra, and ask her for Sotha Seal's amplification elixir. We may... Friend of Val. Tranquil greetings, Caraval. You will forgive me if I seem awkward. We rarely entertain guests here on Arteum. I am Kellerus. Right, Master Aikesis told me a great deal about you. I suspect he has plans for you within the Sigic Order. The Right Master holds you in high regard. That is proof enough of your worthiness. Eager to begin? Good. Eagerness is just what we need. The first cluster of time breaches appeared on the Isle of Somerset. You should start there. Go speak with my apprentice, Josaja, in the Athenaeum. She will provide the tools you need. A map, Sigic seals, and the Augur of the Obscure. The map will show you the approximate location of each time breach. I apologize. Our... These time breaches are not visible to mortal eyes. The Augur, however, perceives time and space very differently. Precisely. Think of them like... bandages, I suppose. Yes, uh, can I... can I help you? Right. You're the Order's new initiate. I didn't expect you so soon. Things here on Arteum are normally, you know, snailish. I... I don't. Please don't tell the Lore Master. It tricked me into dismissing the binding charms that keep it here, in the Athenaeum. Then it popped like a bubble and vanished. It is... Mercifully, yes. I just scried its location. It looks like it reappeared somewhere on the shores of Waston Coraldale. I'm indebted. You'll definitely need the Augur on your quest. Without it, you'll never find those time breaches. The Lore Master didn't tell you? All right. Oh, how to explain it? The Augur is a skull. Sort of. It's really a crystalline entity that resembles a skull. Some... it's hard to say. Once you have a few conversations with it, you'll see what I mean. Yes, incessantly. I think that's why Loremaster Kellerus made me its caretaker. 
No one else wants to listen to it. You should know that it lies constantly, unless you ask it a direct question. If you do that, it's compelled to always tell the truth. It will. Stirring up the Augur's power will give you a second sight. The Skull sees time differently. Well, it sees practically everything differently, but time most of all. I think it's fascinating. I just... The seals are one of the Order's oldest tools. They act as a sort of anchor, shoring up any wayward spirits or forces in a given place. must be the adventurer that Valserin was going on about. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to our secret island. Oh, I suppose you already talked to the right master, seeing as you're here in Kapora Tower. That strange pearl has certainly been reluctant to reveal its secrets. The right master hates it when an inanimate object refuses to cooperate. Regarding the amplification elixir, I just cataloged it. It's a Sotha seal creation, as you'd expect. Hmm. What? No, not in the traditional sense. He's not one of our monks, if that's what you're asking. More like an honorary member, I guess you'd say. According to my records, the silver vial should be right over there. As soon as the pearl arrived via Valserin's transference spell, the right master gathered the conclave to prepare an augury ritual. He's been cycling sages through to keep them fresh, while slowly increasing the intensity of the ritual. I'm the right master's acolyte. I have other duties to perform. Besides, such a complex ritual requires the power of the Conclave of the Eleven Forces. I'm not that strong yet. Under the Right Master's tutelage, I expect to attain that rank. One day. Despite opinions to the contrary, being an Altmer isn't a prerequisite for membership in the Sigic Order. The Right Master noticed my potential and invited me to join. I I'm not allowed to reveal where you are or how our magic works. ...other than to tell you that you have arrived upon the fabled island of the Sigic Order, Arteum. While we're not currently part of Nern's reality, we still keep track of events there. I could say we have our ways and leave it at that, but you deserve a better explanation. The Right Master sends Sigics back to the world to perform tasks and gather information. Plus, we have powerful scrying magic that reveals all sorts of details. I was examining the vial of amplification elixir myself just a short time ago. It should be right over there. Was Oriandra able to direct you to the proper elixir? Without something to amplify the magic, our ritual is going to fail. Just in time. For the next stage of the ritual, if you have no objections, I'd like you to join us. Your experiences alongside Valserin might help reveal what has so far eluded our efforts. We'll handle the magic. You pour the elixir into the scrying pool and stand close. As the ritual's power amplifies, your experiences with the Pearl and the False Aldark should help the Augury do its job. We want to discover the origin of the Pearl and its strange magic. In addition, anything we can learn about the False Aldark and his connection to the Pearl would be helpful. Otherwise, Pour the elixir into the pool. That should provide the final boost we need to trigger the Augury. Here we stand. The most favored servants of Clavicus Vile, Nefala, and Nocturnal, on the verge of the greatest victory for our princes. Are you sure those creatures can be trusted? Have no fear. Isn't that why we formed the court of Bedlam? Besides, 
What happens next in Relenthil will seal Somerset's fate. That was unnerving. It seems the false Aldark belonged to an alliance of Daedric cultists called the Court of Bedlam. Imagine the faithful of Clavicus Vile, Mafala, and Nocturnal working together. This is more serious than I anticipated. No, but I'm hardly an expert on the Daedric cults of Tamriel. The magic I sensed in the Pearl, though, it doesn't contain the taint of oblivion. We're missing something, but what? I suppose we'll need to find out what's going on in Relenthil. I hoped you'd say that. Relenthil sits to the west of Shimmerine, just across the mountains. I'll send Valserin with you to talk to the Cannon Reeve. The False Aldark may be dead, but Mafala's and Nocturnal's agents remain, as well as the Pearls. I may not be a natural prognosticator, but I had a feeling you might. Go ahead. I'll answer what I can. Very little, I'm afraid. The last time I passed through that area was more than 350 years ago. They made an exquisite wine, as I recall, and the House of Rep...
Ah, this one has been looking for you. Raz's investigations have brought him to Relentil. When this one noticed your Sigic friend slip into town, Raz figured you'd be along soon. So, what did you discover on Arteum, the island that isn't here anymore? Ugh, oh, that made Raz's head hurt. Yes, this one has been exploring the Daedra connection as well. But Raz hates Daedra. In Raz's experience, very little good comes from dealing with Daedra or their cultists. And this revelation brings you to Relandil, yes? That is disturbingly vague. Why must cryptic cultists be so... cryptic? Well, Raz saw Valserin head toward Canon Reef Farmeldo's house. Drat! Which one could he possibly be? Go inside and we'll discuss this later. And take off that ridiculous hood. Ridiculous? I'll show you what's ridiculous. I'll show you all! You think as Canon Reeve I'd be immune to the troublesome temper of a spoiled and rebellious child? But what distinguished visitors I have today. A wandering... Investigating? For who? Well, there have been three reports this week of someone disappearing. And my intractable son, Nadoril, and his malcontent friends have been cavorting around the large sinkhole that recently appeared. What are you implying? They're just young and proud of their heritage. I wouldn't draw such a harsh conclusion without substantial evidence. I can't... It's unusual for newcomers to encroach upon Altmer affairs, especially since we rarely saw any prior to the Queen's decree. If you want to investigate, I won't try to stop you. And if anything happens, maybe it will teach my son to avoid the place. Raz wants to ask the Canon Reeve a few more questions. Take the Sijik and go investigate the sinkhole. <laughs>